Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Isolation Libations, episode 26. 26, my oh my. Ah, here we go. My name is Joey Joyce. I'm your bartender, your outdoors bartender most of the time. And uh, we're making cocktails to pair along with Brian Chartrand's Happy Half Hour on facebook.com backslash Brian Chartrand Music. Um, that'll be live at five o'clock on West Coast time. But uh, you can catch it anytime after that. It doesn't have to be live. You won't mind. You could watch it whenever. Watch it at midnight. Watch it two in the morning. Have some drinks. Watch it four in the morning. Whenever. Just watch it, man. It's really good. So, um, where am I? Where am I? I'm in Bend, Oregon. That's where I am. So today, um, one of Brian's fans in Germany, Elka, has been politely and patiently asking me to do a Spanish style gin and tonic. Um, what is a Spanish style gin and tonic, you say, you ask? Um, well, my experience with them, when uh, having them in Spain, usually in a big goblet like this, um, they're real precise about pairing up their particular gin with their particular tonic, maybe just a couple garnishes that are actually kind of ingredients in themselves, maybe a grapefruit peel, a couple of pink peppercorns, uh, a little fennel frond and some lemon peel. Usually pretty simple, but uh, a lot of care goes into it. And they're amazing. And on a hot summer day, it's just like the best thing ever. I was just in Argentina. They do a mean gin and tonic down there as well. I uh, enjoyed quite a few in a lovely warm afternoon just last month. So the one we're going to be making today is called the Sylvan Summer. Now Sylvan is usually it's a word that kind of refers to forests, trees, woods, anything like that. So we're doing the very piney, uh, very, uh, yes, p literally piney, uh, Douglas fir, a lot of that kind of Christmas tree, juniper, forest flavors in this uh, particular gin and tonic riff. Um, so uh, it seemed fitting uh, this street out here may be called Sylvan. Um, so it seems, seems to fit the, uh, the theme. For the song, I don't know what Brian's gonna do. He's gonna surprise me. Maybe summertime jam, but he just did that last week. So we don't know. Um, I suggested Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, summertime he seemed to say not yet he wasn't quite ready for the uh, the wrapping part but give us enough time you'll be there you'll be there all right enough of me talking um, let's walk through this cocktail the Sylvan summer so uh, this pine right behind me is the same pine as this it's called a Mugo pine um, this beautiful liqueur the Zerbenz is a stone pine liqueur I don't have any stone pine around this is going to work for me. So we're going to start with, actually, Maldon sea salt. This is a smoked Maldon sea salt. All, all of these have a more herbal, piney note. This is just going to give like a little hint of smoke to it. Like if you're out hiking in the woods, going past a campsite, and there's a smell of like last night's campfire, and you can kind of pick up some of those smoky scents. That's the idea anyway. We'll see if it comes through. So again, small little amount. Ready? About that much. That salts for our homies. Get right into your mixing glass. Preferably one from Sir Toto Co Copper Company. The best. All right, then we're gonna take one of our uh, pine sprigs, about this much. We're not gonna muddle it, just gonna kind of break it up. Once you kind of break those needles, you release some of the oil out of there. Whew, smells so good, so fresh, so green. So fresh and so green, green. We're all going nuts. And then just pop that right in your mixing glass as well. All right. <clears throat> My most used ingredient by far, the Dolan Dry Vermouth. Just adds so much to cocktails. You know, kind of dries things out. Because again, this can be a little bit sweet. Um, even a tonic too. Um, gives it a nice kind of backbone. It's just, if it wasn't in there, you would definitely know it. Uh, when it's in there, this really ties the cocktail together. I think, especially with gin. They're natural friends. So we're going to go three quarters of an ounce of the Dolan Dry Vermouth. Next up, the Zerbenz. I'm gonna guess you probably don't have this laying around your house. You might have to go pick it up. 
but it's worth picking up. It's so good. So uh, maybe you have to come back and make this cocktail. Three quarter of an ounce. But yeah, this color is all natural from the stone pine. It's from Austria. So, good day, mate. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Yes, I know Austria. Dumb and Dumber, anybody watch that movie? All right, and again, going to all my favorites. The St. George Spirit Terroir Gin. This thing, Douglas fir all the way. It's just, it's delicious. I used to work in a Christmas tree lot and I would come home smelling like this gin and I wasn't even drinking yet, so there you go. Okay, ounce and a half. It's so good, it's the best gin. All right, now we're not gonna stir this with ice. So we're just gonna stir it to kinda, I just want a little bit of that oil from the pine and then to dissolve the salt too. There's so much pine and uh, fir tree flavors going on in this, in the spirits that we're using that you don't want, you don't need too much added. But a little bit of fresh pine. I think will be fun. Okay, so we're gonna fill up our fill up our glass with ice. So you really want to fill it up all the way. Why you ask? Because I said so. Um, it's gonna help. It's gonna melt down too, especially these big, if you have larger kind of block ice cubes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pour our stirred spirits in first. Ah, oh, it's a cool color, man. Looks like a rose wine. It's pretty wild. You can tell I haven't made this yet. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna give this just a little stir, kind of help those ice cubes settle down into the glass. And then as needed, add a little bit more ice. Groovy. Okay. Now, get your tonic. You're using the fever tree, the uh, Indian tonic water. It's kind of my, my standard go-to tonic. I, I really like it. I think it's just a good balance. Um, they have like the elderflower and the Mediterranean are really nice too, but I kind of want a tonic that's just closest to a traditional tonic flavor and not, not bringing too much, not competing too much with the other flavors, just complimenting. This is a weird angle to pour from. I'm used to it being like up here. So pardon me if I'm kind of leaning back. Okay, go ahead and use the whole bottle. And then you're gonna give this just like a gentle kind of lifting stir. Again, just incorporate your spirit and tonic a little bit. You don't wanna stir it too much because you lose bubbles. Now for garnish, get some more of your pine, get some lemon wheels. You could, again, kind of stick them along the side. You could slice it, put it on the rim. I'm gonna do this thing, see how that works. See if I can still get in there and drink it. I think see an opening I can get in there. And that's it. So this is your Sylvan Summer. A uh, little riff on a Spanish style gin and tonic. I guess it's a Ben Norgan style gin and tonic. And cheers to you all. Look at that color. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> I do say so myself. Oh yeah, that's that's good. I am making another one of these. Um, I hope you guys can find some of the, these products and, and make it yourself. It's it's worthwhile. So, cheers. I'm gonna stop talking. Listen to Brian's music tonight at five o'clock. Support local music, and I'll see you tomorrow.